The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency (JAXA), Guo Li Yan Ju Kai Fa Fa Ren Yu Zhou Hang Kong Yan Ju Kai Fa Ji Go Kokuritsu Kenkyu Kaihatsu Hojin Uchu Koku Kenkyu Kaihatsu Kiko, literally National Research and Development Agency on Aerospace Research and Development is the Japanese National Aerospace and Space Agency. Through the merger of three previously independent organizations, JAXA was formed on 1 October 2003. JAXA is responsible for research, technology development and launch of satellites into orbit, and is involved in many more advanced missions such as asteroid exploration and possible manned exploration of the Moon. Its motto is One JAXA and its corporate slogan is Explore to Realize formerly Reaching for the Skies, Exploring Space. History On 1 October 2003, three organizations were merged to form the new JAXA, Japan's Institute of Space and Astronautical Science the National Aerospace Laboratory of Japan and National Space Development Agency of Japan JAXA was formed as an independent administrative institution administered by the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology and the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications .Before the merger, ISAS was responsible for space and planetary research, while NAL was focused on aviation research. NASDA, which was founded on 1 October 1969, had developed rockets, satellites, and also built the Japanese Experiment Module. The old NASDA headquarters were located at the current site of the Tanegashima Space Center, on Tanegashima Island, 115 km south of Kyushu. NASDA also trained Japanese astronauts, who flew with the U.S. space shuttles. The basic space law was passed in 2008, and the jurisdictional authority of JAXA moved from MEX to the Strategic Headquarters for Space Development in the cabinet, led by the Prime Minister. In 2016, the National Space Policy Secretariat was set up the cabinet. In 2012, new legislation extended JAXA's remit from peaceful purposes only to include some military space development such as missile early warning systems. Political control of JAXA passed from MEX to the Prime Minister's Cabinet Office through a new Space Strategy Office. Topic organization JAXA is composed of the following organizations, Space Technology Directorate I Space Technology Directorate II Human Spaceflight Technology Directorate Research and Development Directorate Aeronautical Technology Directorate Institute of Space and Astronautical Science ISAS Space Exploration Innovation Hub Center JAXA has research centers in many locations in Japan, and some offices overseas. Its headquarters are in Chofu, Tokyo. It also has Earth Observation Research Center EORC, Tokyo Earth Observation Center EOC in Hatoyama, Saitama Noshiro Testing Center NTC in Noshiro, Akita, established in 1962. It carries out development and testing of rocket engines. Sanriku Balloon Center SBC balloons have been launched from this site since 1971. Kakuta Space Center KSPC in Kakuta, Miyagi, leads the development of rocket engines. Works mainly with development of liquid fuel engines. Sagamihara Campus ISAS development of experimental equipment for rockets and satellites. Also administrative buildings. Tanegashima Space Center, currently the launch site for the HIIA and HIIB rockets. Sakuba Space Center TKSC in Sakuba. This is the center of Japan's space network. It is involved in research and development of satellites and rockets, and tracking and controlling of satellites. It develops experimental equipment for the Japanese experiment module Kibo. Training of astronauts also takes place here. For International Space Station operations, the Japanese Flight Control Team is located at the Space Station Integration and Promotion Center SSIPC in Tsukuba. SSIPC communicates regularly with ISS crew members via S band audio. Uchinora Space Center, currently the launch site for the Epsilon rocket. Topic: <laughs> Rockets. JAXA uses the HIIA H2 a rocket from the former NASDA body and its variant HIIB to launch engineering test satellites, weather satellites, etc. 
For science missions like X-ray astronomy, JAXA uses the Epsilon rocket. For experiments in the upper atmosphere JAXA uses the SS-520, S-520, and S-310 sounding rockets. Successes Prior to the establishment of JAXA, ISAS had been most successful in its space program in the field of X-ray astronomy during the 1980s and 1990s. Another successful area for Japan has been Very Long Baseline Interferometry with the HALCA mission. Additional success was achieved with solar observation and research of the magnetosphere, among other areas. NASDA was mostly active in the field of communication satellite technology. However, since the satellite market of Japan is completely open, the first time a Japanese company won a contract for a civilian communication satellite was in 2005. Another prime focus of the NASDA body is Earth climate observation. JAXA was awarded the Space Foundation's John L. Jack Swigert Jr. Award for Space Exploration in 2008. Topic. Launch development and missions Topic. Rocket history Japan launched its first satellite, Osumi, in 1970, using ISAS L4S rocket. Prior to the merger, ISAS used small solid-fueled launch vehicles, while NASDA developed larger liquid-fueled launchers. In the beginning, NASDA used licensed American models. The first model of liquid-fueled launch vehicle indigenously developed in Japan was the H-2, introduced in 1994. However, at the end of the 1990s, with two H-2 launch failures, Japanese rocket technology began to face criticism. <laughs> Early HIIA missions Japan's first space mission under JAXA, an HIIA rocket launch on 29 November 2003, ended in failure due to stress problems. After a 15-month hiatus, JAXA performed a successful launch of an HIIA rocket from Tanegashima Space Center, placing a satellite into orbit on 26 February 2005. <laughs> Orbital SS-520 mission In January 2017, JAXA attempted and failed to put a mini-satellite into orbit atop one of its SS-520 series rockets. A second attempt on February 2, 2018 was successful, putting a 10-pound CubeSat into Earth orbit. The rocket, known as the SS-525, is the world's smallest orbital launcher. <laughs> Lunar and interplanetary missions. Japan's first missions beyond Earth orbit were the 1985 Halley's Comet observation satellites Sakigaki MST5 and Suse Planet A. To prepare for future missions, ISAS tested Earth swing by orbits with the Hitten mission in 1990. The first Japanese interplanetary mission was the Mars orbiter Nozomi Planet B, which was launched in 1998. It passed Mars in 2003, but failed to reach Mars orbit due to maneuvering systems failures earlier in the mission. Currently interplanetary missions remain at the ISAS group under the JAXA umbrella. However, for FY 2008 JAXA is planning to set up an independent working group within the organization. New head for this group will be Hayabusa project manager Kawaguchi. Active missions, Planet C, Ikaros, Hayabusa 2 under development, Slim retired, Planet B, Selene, Muses C cancelled, Lunar A. Topic. Small body exploration, Hayabusa mission On 9 May 2003, Hayabusa meaning, Peregrine Falcon, was launched from an MV rocket. The goal of the mission was to collect samples from a small near-Earth asteroid named 25143 Itokawa. The craft rendezvoused with the asteroid in September 2005. 
It was confirmed that the spacecraft successfully landed on the asteroid in November 2005, after some initial confusion regarding the incoming data. Hayabusa returned to Earth with samples from the asteroid on 13 June 2010. Lunar explorations After Hitton in 1990, ISAS planned a lunar penetrator mission called Lunar A but after delays due to technical problems, the project was terminated in January 2007. The seismometer penetrator design for Lunar A may be reused in a future mission. On 14 September 2007, JAXA succeeded in launching the lunar orbit explorer Kagaya, also known as Selene, costing 55 billion yen including launch vehicle, the largest such mission since the Apollo program, on an H-2A rocket. Its mission is to gather data on the Moon's origin and evolution. It entered lunar orbit on 4 October 2007. After one year and eight months it impacted the lunar surface on 10 June 2009 at 18.25 Coordinated Universal Time. JAXA plans to launch its first lunar surface mission, SLIM Smart Lander for Investigating Moon on an Epsilon rocket in fiscal year 2019. Topic planetary exploration Japan's planetary missions have so far been limited to the inner solar system, and emphasis has been put on magnetospheric and atmospheric research. The Mars explorer Nozomi, Planet B, which ISAS launched prior to the merger of the three aerospace institutes, became one of the earliest difficulties the newly formed JAXA faced. Nozomi ultimately passed 1,000 km from the surface of Mars. On 20 May 2010, the Venus Climate Orbiter Akatsuki Planet C and Ikaros Solar Sail Demonstrator was launched by a H-2A launch vehicle. On 7 December 2010, Akatsuki was unable to complete its Venus orbit insertion maneuver. Akatsuki finally entered Venus orbit in 7 December 2015, making it the first Japanese spacecraft to orbit another planet, 16 years after the originally planned orbital insertion of Nozomi. One of Akatsuki's main goal is to uncover the mechanism behind Venus atmosphere's super-rotation, a phenomenon in which the cloud top winds in the troposphere circulates around the planet faster than the speed that Venus itself rotates. A thorough explanation for this phenomenon has yet been found. JAXA, ISAS was part of the International Laplace-Jupiter mission proposal from its foundation. A Japanese contribution was sought in the form of an independent orbiter to research Jupiter's magnetosphere, JMO Jupiter Magnetospheric Orbiter. Although JMO never left the conception phase, ISAS scientists will see their instruments reaching Jupiter on the ESA-led JUICE Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer mission. JUICE is a reformulation of the ESA Ganymede orbiter from the Laplace project. JAXA's contribution includes providing components of the RPWI radio and plasma wave investigation, PEP, particle environment package, GALA Ganymede laser altimeter instruments. JAXA is reviewing a new spacecraft mission to the Martian system, a sample return mission to Phobos called MMX Martian Moons Explorer. First revealed in 9 June 2015, MMX's primary goal is to determine the origin of the Martian moons. Alongside collecting samples from Phobos, MMX will perform remote sensing of Deimos, and may also observe the atmosphere of Mars as well. As of January 2016, MMX is to be launched in fiscal year 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Solar sail research On 9 August 2004, ISAS successfully deployed two prototype solar sails from a sounding rocket. A clover-type sail was deployed at 122 km altitude and a fan-type sail was deployed at 169 km altitude. Both sails used 7.5 micrometer thick film. ISAS tested a solar sail again as a sub-payload to the Akari Astro -F mission on of February 2006. However the solar sail did not deploy fully. ISAS tested a solar sail again as a sub-payload of the Solar B launch at 23 September 2006, but contact with the probe was lost. The Icaros solar sail was launched on 21 May 2010. The solar sail deployed successfully. The goal is to have a solar sail mission to Jupiter after 2020. Topic. 
Astronomy program The first Japanese astronomy mission was X-ray satellite Hakucho which was launched in 1979. Later ISAS moved into solar observation, radio astronomy through space VLBI and infrared astronomy. Active missions are Solar B, Maxi, Sprint A, and CALET. Missions under development are XRISM. Retired missions are Astro F, Astro EII, and Astro H. Astro G is a cancelled mission. Topic infrared astronomy Japan's first infrared astronomy mission was the 15 cm IRTS telescope which was part of the SFU multipurpose satellite in 1995. IRTS scanned during its one-month lifetime around 7% of the sky before SFU got brought back to Earth by the Space Shuttle. During the 1990s JAXA also gave ground support for the ESA Infrared Space Observatory infrared mission. The next step for JAXA was the Akari spacecraft, with the pre-launch designation Astro-F. This satellite was launched on 21 February 2006. Its mission is infrared astronomy with a 68 cm telescope. This is the first all-sky survey since the first infrared mission IRAS in 1983. A 3.6 kg nanosatellite named Cute 1.7 was also released from the same launch vehicle. JAXA is also doing further R&D for increasing the performance of its mechanical coolers for its future infrared mission, SPICA. This would enable a warm launch without liquid helium. SPICA has the same size as the ESA Herschel Space Observatory mission, but is planned to have a temperature of just 4.5 K and will be much colder. Unlike Akari, which had a geocentric orbit, SPICA will be located at Sun-Earth L2. The launch is expected in 2027 or 2028 on JAXA's new H3 launch vehicle, however the mission is not yet fully funded. ESA and NASA may also each contribute an instrument. X-ray astronomy Starting from 1979 with Hakucho for nearly two decades Japan had achieved continuous observation with its Hinotori, Tenma, Ginga and ASCA X-ray observation satellites. However, in the year 2000 the launch of Japan's fifth X-ray observation satellite, Astro-E failed as it failed at launch it never received a proper name. Then on 10 July 2005, JAXA was finally able to launch a new X-ray astronomy mission named Suzaku Astro EII. This launch was important for JAXA, because in the five years since the launch failure of the original Astro-E satellite, Japan was without an X-ray telescope. Three instruments were included in this satellite, an X-ray spectrometer XRS, an X-ray imaging spectrometer XIS, and a hard X-ray detector HXD. However, the XRS was rendered inoperable due to a malfunction which caused the satellite to lose its supply of liquid helium. The next JAXA X-ray mission is the Monitor of All Sky X-ray Image MAXI. MAXI continuously monitors astronomical X-ray objects over a broad energy band 0.5 to 30 keV. MAXI is installed on the Japanese external module of the ISS. On 17 February 2016, Hitomi was launched as the successor to Suzaku, which completed its mission a year before. <laughs> Solar observation Japan's solar astronomy started in the early 80s with the launch of the Hinotori X-ray mission. The Hinode Solar B spacecraft, the follow-on to the joint Japan-US-UK Yoko Solar A spacecraft, was launched on 23 September 2006. A Solar C can be expected sometime after 2020. However no details are worked out yet other than it will not be launched with the former ISAS's MU rockets. Instead a H-2A from Tanegashima could launch it. As H-2A is more powerful, Solar C could either be heavier or be stationed at L1 Lagrange point one. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radio astronomy. In 1998, Japan launched the HALCA Muses B mission, the world's first spacecraft dedicated to conduct space VLBI observations of pulsars, among others. 
To do so, ISAS set up a ground network around the world through international cooperation. The observation part of the mission lasted until 2003 and the satellite was retired at the end of 2005. In FY 2006 Japan funded the Astro-G as the succeeding mission. Topic: <laughs> Communication, Positioning and Technology Tests. One of the primary duties of the former NASDA body was the testing of new space technologies, mostly in the field of communication. The first test satellite was ETSI, launched in 1975. However, during the 1990s NASDA was hit by bad luck with the problems surrounding the ETSV and Comet's missions. In February 2018, JAXA announced a research collaboration with Sony to test a laser communication system from the Kibo module in late 2018. Testing of communication technologies remains to be one of JAXA's key duties in cooperation with NICT. Active missions, INDEX, WINDS, QZS-1 under development, SLATS, QZS-2, QZS-3, QZS-4, ETS-X retired, OIC-ETS, ETS-8. I-Space, ETS-8, WINDS and QZS-1 To upgrade Japan's communication technology the Japanese state launched the iSpace initiative with the ETS-8 and WINES missions. ETS-8 was launched on 18 December 2006. The purpose of ETS-8 is to test communication equipment with two very large antennas and an atomic clock test. On 26 December both antennas were successfully deployed. This didn't come unexpected, since JAXA tested the deployment mechanism before with the LDREX-2 mission, which was launched on 14 October with the European Ariane 5. The test was successful. The mission of WINS Kizuna is to create the world's fastest satellite internet connection. WINS was launched in February 2008. OICETS and INDEX On 24 August 2005, JAXA launched the experimental satellites OICETS and INDEX on a Ukrainian DNEPR rocket. OICETS is a mission tasked with testing optical links with the European Space Agency ESA Artemis satellite, which is around 40,000 km away from OICETS. The experiment was successful on 9 December, when the link could be established. In March 2006 JAXA could establish with OICETS the worldwide first optical links between a LEO satellite and a ground station first in Japan and in June 2006 with a mobile station in Germany. INDEX is a small 70 kg satellite for testing various equipment, and functions as an Aurora observation mission as well. The RAIME satellite is currently in its extended mission phase. Earth Observation Program Japan's first Earth observation satellites were MOS-1A and MOS-1B launched in 1987 and 1990. During the 1990s and the new millennium this program came under heavy fire, because both ADIOS and ADIOS-2 satellites failed after just 10 months in orbit. Active missions, GOSAT, GCOMW, ALOS-2 under development, GCOMC, GOSAT-2, ALOS-3 retired, ALOS. ALOS In January 2006, JAXA successfully launched the Advanced Land Observation Satellite, ALOS, Daichi. Communication between ALOS and the ground station in Japan will be done through the Kodama Data Relay Satellite, which was launched during 2002. This project is under intense pressure due to the shorter-than-expected lifetime of the ADEOS-2 Earth Observation Mission. For missions following Daichi, JAXA opted to separate it into a radar satellite ALOS-2 and an optical satellite ALOS-3. ALOS-2 Saudi Rials was launched in May 2014. Topic: 
Rainfall observation Since Japan is an island nation and gets struck by typhoons every year, research about the dynamics of the atmosphere is a very important issue. For this reason Japan launched in 1997 the TRMM Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission satellite in cooperation with NASA, to observe the tropical rainfall seasons. For further research NASDA had launched the ADEOS and ADEOS-2 missions in 1996 and 2003. However, due to various reasons, both satellites had a much shorter than expected life term. On 28 February 2014, a H-2A rocket launched the GPM Core Observatory, a satellite jointly developed by JAXA and NASA. The GPM mission is the successor to the TRMM mission, which by the time of the GPM launch had been noted as highly successful. JAXA provided the Global Precipitation Measurement – Dual Frequency Precipitation Radar GPM, DPR, instrument for this mission. Global Precipitation Measurement itself is a satellite constellation, whilst the GPM Core Observatory provides a new calibration standard for other satellites in the constellation. Other countries, agencies like France, India, ESA etc. provides the subsatellites. The aim of GPM is to measure global rainfall with unprecedented detail. Monitoring of carbon dioxide At the end of the 2008 fiscal year, JAXA launched the satellite GOSAT greenhouse gas observing satellite to help scientists determine and monitor the density distribution of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The satellite is being jointly developed by JAXA and Japan's Ministry of the Environment. JAXA is building the satellite while the ministry is in charge of the data that will be collected. Since the number of ground-based carbon dioxide observatories cannot monitor enough of the world's atmosphere and are distributed unevenly throughout the globe, the GOSAT may be able to gather more accurate data and fill in the gaps on the globe where there are no observatories on the ground. Sensors for methane and other greenhouse gases are also being considered for the satellite, although the plans are not yet finalized. The satellite weighs approximately 1,650 kg and is expected to have a lifespan of five years. <laughs> GCOM series Next funded Earth observation mission after GOSAT is the GCOM Global Change Observation Mission Earth Observation Program as a successor to ADEOS-2 Midori and the Aqua mission. To reduce the risk and for a longer observation time the mission will be split into smaller satellites. Altogether GCOM will be a series of six satellites. The first satellite, GCOMW Shizuku, was launched on 17 May 2012 with the HIIA. The launch of the second satellite, GCOMC, is currently planned for 2017. Topic: <laughs> Satellites for other agencies. For weather observation, Japan launched in February 2005 the multifunctional transport satellite 1R, MTSAT-1R. The success of this launch was critical for Japan, since the original MTSAT-1 couldn't be put into orbit because of a launch failure with the H-2 rocket in 1999. Since then Japan relied for weather forecasting on an old satellite which was already beyond its useful life term and on American systems. On 18 February 2006, JAXA, as head of the HIIA at this time, successfully launched the MTSAT-2 aboard a H-2A rocket. MTSAT-2 is the backup to the MTSAT-1R. The MTSAT-2 uses the DS-2000 satellite bus developed by Mitsubishi Electric. The DS-2000 is also used for the DRTS Kodama, ETS-8 and the Superbird 7 communication satellite, making it the first commercial success for Japan. As a secondary mission both the MTSAT-1R and MTSAT-2 help to direct air traffic. Other JAXA satellites currently in use GEOTAIL Magnetosphere Observation Satellite since 1992 
DRTS Kodama data relay satellite since 2002 projected lifespan as 7 years ongoing joint missions with NASA are the tropical rainfall measuring mission TRMM the aqua earth observation satellite and the global precipitation measurement GPM core satellite on May 11, 2018 JAXA has launched the first outer space object registered by Kenya. Satellite 1 KUNSPF created by University of Nairobi was launched from the Japanese module of the International Space Station. <laughs> <laughs> Completed missions Akabono Aurora Observation 1989-2015 Akari Infrared Astronomy Mission 2006 to 2011 retired OICETS Technology Demonstration 2005 to 2009 retired Selene Moon Probe 2007 to 2009 retired Micro Lab Sat 1 Small Engineering Mission Launch 2002 retired the 27th of September 2006 HALCA Space VLBI 1997 to 2005 retired Nozomi Mars Mission 1998 to 2003 failed MDS1 Technology Demonstration 2002 2003 retired ADEOS2 Midori 2 Earth Observation 2002 2003 lost Topic Future Missions As JAXA shifted away from international efforts beginning in 2005, plans are developing for independent space missions, such as a proposed manned mission to the Moon. Topic: 2009 and beyond. On the 23rd of February 2008, JAXA launched the Wideband Internetworking Engineering Test and Demonstration Satellite Winds, also called Kazuna. WINS will facilitate experiments with faster internet connections. The launch, using HIIA Launch Vehicle 14, took place from the Tanegashima Space Center. On 10 September 2009 the first HIIB rocket was successfully launched, delivering the HTV-1 freighter to resupply the International Space Station. In the year 2009 JAXA plans to launch the first satellite of the Quasi-Zenith Satellite System QZSS, a subsystem of the Global Positioning System GPS. Two others are expected to follow later. If successful, one satellite will be in a zenith position over Japan full-time. The QZSS mission is the last scheduled major independent mission for JAXA, as no major civilian projects were funded after that for now. The only exception is the IGS program which will be continued beyond 2008. However it seems Japan is pressing forward now with the GCOM Earth Observation Satellites as successors to the ADEOS missions. First launch is planned for 2010. In 2009 Japan also plans to launch a new version of the IGS with an improved resolution of 60 cm. Topic: 2010. Launch schedule. The maiden flight of the HIIB and the HTV occurred in the 1st of September 2009. After the first flight, one HTV launch is scheduled during each FY until 2019. If not mentioned otherwise launch vehicle for the following missions is the HIIA. Topic <inaudible> FY 2016 GCOMC Climate Observation Satellite SLATS a technology test mission to demonstrate satellite operation in the upper thermosphere ERG Van Allen Belt Observation LV Epsilon Topic FY 2017 GOSAT2 Carbon Dioxide Monitor Mission QZS2 QZS3 QZS4 Topic FY 2018 Bepa Colombo, Joint ESA Mission to Mercury, Launch, October, 2018, LV, Ariane 5. 
Topic <laughs> FY 2019. Optical Data Relay Satellite Advanced Optical Satellite SLIM, Pinpoint Lunar Lander LV, Epsilon. FY 2020 Advanced Radar Satellite Other missions for the 2018 ESA EarthCare mission, JAXA will provide the radar system on the satellite. JAXA is also providing the Light Particle Telescope LPT for the 2008 Jason 2 satellite by the French CNES. JAXA will provide the Auroral Electron Sensor AES for the Taiwanese FORMOSAT-5. SMARTSAT-1, Small Communication Test and Sun Corona Observation, Mission Status Unclear XEUS Joint X-ray Telescope with ESA, launch after 2015. SOHLA-2 Small PETSAT Demonstration Satellite <laughs> New orientation of JAXA Planning interplanetary research missions can take up to seven years, such as the ASTRO-E. Due to the lag time between these interplanetary events and mission planning time, opportunities to gain new knowledge about the cosmos might be lost. To prevent this, JAXA plans on using smaller, faster missions from 2010 onwards. JAXA is developing a new solid-fueled rocket, the Epsilon, to replace the retired MV. Topic: <laughs> Developing projects. Icaros Interplanetary Kite Craft Accelerated by Radiation of the Sun, a small size powered solar sail experimental spacecraft. Future mission will use solar sail for Jupiter and Trojan asteroids exploration. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plans. Human Lunar Systems Conceptual System Study on the Future Human Lunar Outpost. Nano Jasmine, Small Jasmine, Jasmine, a series of astrometric telescopes similar to the Gaia mission but operating in the infrared 2.2 micrometers and specifically targeting the galactic plane and center, where Gaia's results are impaired by dust absorption. MMX, remote sensing of Deimos, sample return from Phobos. Lightbird, a mission to study CMBB mode polarization and cosmic inflation based at L2. Okeanos, a mission to Jupiter and Trojan asteroids utilizing hybrid propulsion of solar sail and ion engines. Spica, a 2.5 meter infrared telescope to be placed at L2. Destiny Plus, small scale technology demonstrator which will also conduct scientific observation of asteroid 3200 Phaethon. Force, small scale hard X ray observation with high sensitivity. DEOS – Small-Scale X-Ray Observation Mission to Survey Warm Hot Intergalactic Medium Approach – Small-Scale Lunar Penetrator Mission His Gundam – Small-Scale Gamma-Ray Burst Observation Mission EUVST – Solar Observation BDECIGO – Gravity Wave Observation Test Mission Selene R – A Moon Landing Mission Hayabusa MK-2 – Marco Polo Space Solar Power System SSPS, space-based solar power prototype launch in 2020, aiming for a full power system in 2030. <laughs> Human Space Program Japan has 10 astronauts but has not yet developed its own manned spacecraft and is not currently developing one officially. A potentially manned space shuttle spaceplane Hope X project launched by the conventional space launcher H2 was developed for several years including test flights of Hyflex, Oryx prototypes, but was postponed. The simpler manned capsule Fuji was proposed but not adopted. Projects for single stage to orbit, horizontal takeoff reusable launch vehicle and landing ASSTS and the vertical takeoff and landing Kanko Maru also exist but have not been adopted. 
The first Japanese citizen to fly in space was Toyohiro Akiyama, a journalist sponsored by TBS, who flew on the Soviet Soyuz TM-11 in December 1990. He spent more than seven days in space on the Mir space station, in what the Soviets called their first commercial space flight which allowed them to earn $14 million. Japan participates in U.S. and international manned space programs including flights of Japanese astronauts on Russian Soyuz spacecraft to the ISS. One Space Shuttle mission STS in September 1992 was partially funded by Japan. This flight included JAXA's first astronaut in space, Mamoru Mori, as the payload specialist for the Spacelab J, one of the European-built Spacelab modules. This mission was also designated Japan. Three other NASA Space Shuttle missions STS-123, STS-124, STS-127 in 2008-2009 delivered parts of the Japanese-built Spacelab module Kibo to ISS. Japanese plans for a manned lunar landing were in development but were shelved in early 2010 due to budget constraints. In June 2014 Japan's Science and Technology Ministry said it was considering a space mission to Mars. In a ministry paper it indicated unmanned exploration, manned missions to Mars and long-term settlement on the Moon were objectives, for which international cooperation and support was going to be sought. On October 18, 2017, Japanese discovery of a tunnel under the surface of the Moon has led to press release. The tunnel seems to be suitable as a location for a base of operations of peaceful manned space missions, according to JAXA. Supersonic aircraft development Besides the HIIA, B and Epsilon rockets, JAXA is also developing technology for a next-generation supersonic transport that could become the commercial replacement for the Concorde. The design goal of the project working name Next Generation Supersonic Transport is to develop a jet that can carry 300 passengers at Mach 2. A subscale model of the jet underwent aerodynamic testing in September and October 2005 in Australia. In 2015, JAXA performed tests aimed at reducing the effects of supersonic flight under the Descend program. The economic success of such a project is still unclear, and as a consequence, the project has been met with limited interest from Japanese aerospace companies like Mitsubishi Heavy Industries so far. Reusable launch vehicles Until 2003, JAXA ISAS conducted research on a reusable launch vehicle under the Reusable Vehicle Testing project. Other space agencies in Japan Not included into the JAXA organization is the Japan Space Systems J Space Systems, Japan's other space agency. See also Independent Administrative Institution Space Brothers manga. Notes Topic. External links JAXA Twitter JAXA Channel Official YouTube Channel Beyond the Sky and Into Space JAXA 2015-2016 on YouTube by JAXA International Space Station ISS and Kibo Information Center JAXA – Space Environment Utilization and Space Experiment JAXA 2025 Presentation JAXA 2025 JAXA Long-Term Vision on YouTube by JAXA RAND Report on Japan's Space Program, 2005 CSIS Report on U.S.-Japan Space Policy Cooperation, 2003 GOSAT Satellite Japan's Evolving Space Program Archived Sites of the JAXA Predecessor Agencies NASDA ISAS NAL <laughs>